So before I get into the core part of this video, guys, I want to ask you guys in the comment section down below, because I would love to know, what your most satisfying boss fights that you've played in video games have been? Boss fights that challenged you to do your absolute best to learn the game, boss fights that you've thoroughly enjoyed with, whether it be dodging their attacks, learning their patterns, and overall having a great conclusion to a story, or whatever your reason might be, please let me know in the comment section down below, because the satisfying boss that I'm going to talk about for this may not be my favorite boss fight in a video game, but it is by far one of the most satisfying I've ever played in a video game, so please let me know in the comments below. Hollow Knight is a Metroidvania style game that released back in 2017 and is considered one of the best indie games that has released over the past several years. Hollow Knight is fantastic from its visuals to its music to the environment to the unique storytelling that you have to find out through exploration rather than it being told to you as well as the combat and the upgrade. Every Hollow Knight is a fantastic game in itself. But the thing that I want to talk about briefly for this video was one of the most satisfying boss fights that I've played, which would be the Mantis Lord's boss fight. This boss fight is so satisfying to get down just because of the sheer amount of learning and mastery that you have to have over the controls, as well as knowing how Hollow Knight itself works. The Mantis Lord's boss fight is divided into two different phases. There's three Mantis Lords that you fight in total, with the first phase of the boss being one particular Mantis Lord that you fight, and then the second half of the fight before you actually win it, you have to face it up against two at once. Every time you beat one of these guys, they end up going back up to one of the giant thrones in the room, and then you face off against the other member, assuming you're in the second phase. This boss fight is so satisfying to me, because no matter how many times I kept dying throughout this fight, it always encouraged me to want to get back up and try again, because I kept getting so close every time. It's so satisfying with the way they move, the timing you get down by dodging their attacks, the timing you get by down slashing them with your nail weapon in order to actually deal damage to them. The fact that these guys move so fast, it always keeps you on your toes, it's a fast paced fight, it's so satisfying to get down into a rhythm, anticipating what attacks they're going to do next, whether it be jumping from the sky and slamming their weapon down into you, or coming out from the ground and just absolutely destroying you. Whatever attack they might be doing, this fight is so well choreographed that it not only requires a certain level of skill in understanding the game, but it also helps develop your focus, and that's something that not all boss fights do. It's not long, it's not drug out, the fight could be easily completed if you know what you're doing. It's like a dance number. The more steps you take, the better the fight flows, and it's something that is just a great time in itself. You'd have to play it to yourself to fully understand what I'm talking about here, but it's not something that I see it talked about a lot. When you think about certain video games, yeah, you the quality is definitely supposed to be reviewed upon if you're doing something like a video for but the boss fights never really get highlighted for great bosses, and this is something I thought would be just interesting to talk about briefly, because I'm sure everyone has, maybe not their favorite, because the Mantis Lord fight is not my favorite boss fight in video games, but it is one of the most satisfying fights that I can remember from a game I've played over the past several years. So, with that in mind, the Mantis Lord's fight is a fantastic time, it does everything a boss fight should, and in general, you have to play to understand, but it is a really fun time. And that's all for this brief video, guys. I just wanted to describe a brief boss fight that I found very satisfying and why I believe it to be satisfying. Uh, what I really want to know from this video as well, again, let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' satisfying boss fights have been in any video game, for that matter. One that you really enjoyed fighting, or perhaps a boss fight that you just didn't really care for too much. Whatever the case may be, I wanted to do a brief, not review of Hollow Knight, but I wanted to do something that talked about a part of a game and a concept like boss fights that doesn't really get tossed around all the time. So let me know all that in the comment section down below about your favorite and least favorite boss fights. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for other videos coming in the future, as well as like shorter gameplay videos like this one, as well as sk comedy skits, and hopefully in the future, longer video game reviews, actual video game reviews. So with that in mind, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.